Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I really wanted to try out a few TikTok beauty hacks. To be honest, I like hardly ever use TikTok. I had a little bit of a face there trying to learn some of the dances, but I like never use the app, but I have seen a few of these videos on YouTube and I thought that they're pretty cool putting these hacks to the test. So that is what I'm gonna do. First one that I'm gonna do is this lip plumping hack. So I'm just gonna explain what she does. So first of all, she does a lip scrub. I actually don't have a lip scrub at the moment, so I'm just gonna be concocting my own. Okay, so her lips like really plump up doing this. You hear my cat licking himself, all right. So the first thing she does is use a lip scrub. So I've got a bit of brown sugar in here and I don't have any honey either, so I'm gonna be putting a bit of maple syrup, just a tiny bit. Mm. Yum. So I think she does the toothbrush while this stuff's on her lips. So she gets a toothbrush and she just exfoliates again. Ow. Mm -hmm. And then she gets a damp cloth. I'm just gonna use a cotton pad with some water on it and just removes that. Oh my God, I got sugar all over my face. Hmm, they're already starting to look a bit juicy. Now she goes in with marula oil. And I do have some, but it's at my boyfriend's house. So the only oil I have is a little bit of Juno oil. And this is gonna taste really bad. Grabs a little bit and just puts it all over her lips. She puts on a lip plumping gloss, which I don't really get how this is a hack because like obviously this is gonna do most of the work, but anyway. Okay, let's let that do its thing. I don't know where my favorite lip liner's gone, but let's just do a little bit of this. So I'm not overlining my lips because then what's the point of seeing if the hack works? Okay, they're definitely looking plump. Okay, next hack. I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I'm gonna do my eyes first. So I found this girl and she's doing like a, it's pretty like, a classic sort of situation. So she just puts the tape down on her eye and she just does like this really diffused wing liner. She's using the chocolate bar palette, um, which I did have, but I must have given it to my sister or something because I cannot find it. I'm just going to use similar colors to her. So first I'm gonna put like a little bit of a base down on my eyelid, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of concealer. Okay, my lips are looking Oh my god. Wow, all right. So let's do this. So I'm just gonna get some more tape. I hope they're even. I would never do this hack. So I'm gonna be taking, it is a Too Faced palette, this little one, because the colors are sort of similar. She sort of grabs it on like a fluffy brush, I'm pretty sure. This first color, like a color similar to that, on a fluffy brush, and she just, let me get closer you guys, she just sort of puts it along the edge. And she does like bring it into the crease a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do it on the other side. So she just keeps going like darker with the brown and then just puts a nude over the lid. So then I'm gonna grab this one on the same fluffy brush and just putting it sort of closer to that um, tape. And then she also pulls this one into the crease of the eye. This is very fast to do, like very, very easy to do. A smaller sort of brush for the darker shade and I'm gonna use this one and just goes right on the tape. Okay. And then she takes a cream sort of color like this and just puts that on this area. Okay, I'm ready for the reveal. Ooh. Okay, okay. My tape was uneven. So my tape was uneven, so I've had to like pull this one up higher to match it. I'm gonna be taking the dark brown again because I feel like it's not as intense as hers. I never have like my wing going off like that. 
Okay, so I'm going for a bit of a different eye shape today. I did not ever do that, but anyway. Get my eyebrows on. I don't have a hack for this one, so I'm just going to do my eyebrows normal. And then I'm going to be doing the foundation hack. I'm back. So if the lighting's a little bit weird today, it is like quite cloudy outside. So I feel like I look very washed out. I'm not digging this eye look, guys, just to let you know. It was this girl that originally did the hack. So let's hear it. Okay, so she puts on the powder after the moisturizer and I've moisturized my skin already earlier. So let's do it. I'm going to be using the Hourglass Translucent Powder. She says not to put too much on. So powdering. Okay, I've got a thin layer of powder everywhere. And now let's set that in place. I'm going to be using the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. Now she said to let this completely dry. Now I'm going to go in with primer. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. I don't really understand why you do the powder before the primer. Because I feel like this is just going to like move that powder away. But we'll see. So the foundation I'm going to use today is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation because I don't know, I feel like when everyone does this hack they use more of a full coverage sort of foundation and I know how this one usually goes on my skin so I'll be able to judge if it makes any sort of difference. So I'm going to be using two different colours. I just always mix foundations, I swear. And I'm just going to be using my normal brush and let's see how this goes. I feel like it's going on how it normally does. I'm not noticing too much of a difference. My lips have gone down. <laughs> if anything, it might just be going on a little bit more matte and smooth than it normally does, but it's looking pretty similar to how it usually goes on my skin. I'm trying to tell if there's a difference, but I really don't think there is much of a difference. Maybe I didn't put enough powder on. It looks nice, but I feel like the foundation always looks like this. But I think I feel like my face is a little bit heavier. Now I'm going to do concealer and all the other steps um, up until highlighter. my face again I've just used some cream bronzer and some powder blush but the next hack thing lip balm as like a highlighter like a wet sort of glow this definitely isn't a new trick either a lot of makeup artists use this it's definitely like more of an editorial sort of look this girl uses leno lips and she puts it on her eyes as well as like her cheeks. She's wearing very, very natural makeup, which it would definitely suit more than this sort of makeup, but we're gonna give it a go. Actually, I haven't done this before, surprisingly. I've done it on other people, but haven't done it on myself. So, so I'm gonna grab a bit of this Mecca Cosmetica lip treatment, and I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand. And we're just gonna Dab it on. It's actually not lifting up my foundation. It definitely feels sticky, obviously. It's going to, but like I love that look. I think that looks so pretty. It's just such like a wet sort of glow. I'm gonna hold a little bit here, a little bit on the tip of the nose, maybe a little bit here, why not? Super pretty. Gorgeous. Now the last hack I have is a mascara hack and it's putting like a hairdryer on cold on your eyelashes and see if it makes them grow up more. So I'm going to do one eye with just normal regular mascara. So I'm going to use my Smashbox. Now I watched one girl do this and she said it made her eyes water like crazy and I feel like mine are really going to water too. 
Okay, so that's my normal eyelash. Now I'm gonna get my hair dryer. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna blow my freaking eyelashes away. So I'm just gonna put the same amount on that I did to the other one. All right, so that's how they look normal. Now let's try it to this eye. Fuck, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Wait. not see much of a difference. I don't know if you can, but they look pretty similar to me. So not too sure about that one. It does just make your eyes water off like crazy. So that's all the hacks that I'm going to try today. If you guys enjoyed this video, I might do like a part two because I know that there's like a lot out there. I actually tried the shaving hack the other day that all TikTokers like shave their legs and they just go back and forth and I was so scared that I was going to cut myself but it actually works so and it does make your legs really smooth. <laughs> the lip plumping one at the start definitely did make them really really full but as you can see like my lips have basically gone back to normal which they usually do when I put the lip injections on. It lasts like half an hour, 20 minutes or so and then it will start to die down and you've got to retop it. Uh, eye hack, we all know that tape's going to make a crisp line. I put my lines in the wrong spot, so it did make me look a bit silly, but I mean, I like her sort of blending effect to make it that really nice smoky winged liner, so it is a good tip for someone that wants like an easier way to sort of do um, like a winged smoky eyeliner. It was super, super, super quick. The foundation hack, my skin is looking very smooth, like very smooth. I would have to see how the foundation went for a little while because I do get a little bit oily with this foundation on usually and I feel like the powder underneath would help that situation. I didn't put powder over the top either but because I do have like the lip balm on today I'm not going to be able to really tell it's gone oily or not because I did put a bit of the lip balm on my nose so I'm already looking shiny but my skin does look very very smooth so if you have more oily skin definitely try this hack out I feel like it would be good for you. Of the lip balm it does give you like the wettest highlighter that you can get because obviously it's got no glitter or shimmer in it it's just that like reflection so it does look really really cool and for the hairdryer one like sorry but no it's a no from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was lots of fun trying out all these hacks and I'll see you all next time. Bye!